The SG90 and MG90 servers are cheap, tiny and can be really useful in loads of small robotics projects. I picked up these ones for about £3 each on Amazon. The MT90S servos are slightly faster and more powerful than the SG90s, but they do weigh 15 grams compared to the 9 grams of the SG90. Let's see how to drive and calibrate these using an Arduino. The servos need to be powered from 5 volts. Here I've got one hooked up to my bench power supply to see how much current it draws. Unloaded we can see that it pulls around 30 milliamps, but then when we stall it, it pulls around about half an amp. An Arduino will supply about 500 milliamps from its plus 5 volt pin, which means that we could probably get away with powering a single servo directly from the Arduino for testing purposes. But for real projects we should power the servos from batteries or a power supply which can supply in excess of 3 quarters of an amp per servo. Let's connect the servo to the Arduino using my little prototyping environment. First we can plug the servo into the breadboard. Then we can connect our external power. First ground and plus 5 volts to the bars. Then the brown servo lead to ground. And the red servo lead to 5 volts. Then we can connect the orange servo lead to one of our Arduino pins. Here I'm just connecting it to A0. Lastly, we just need to tie the ground of the Arduino to the ground of the power supply. Now with the servo hooked up to the Arduino, we simply need to tell it how to move. All we need to do is include the servo.h library, instantiate a new servo object, and then use the servo.attach command to tell it where we're connected to. Here we're telling it it's connected to the A0 pin. Once we've done that, all we need to do is use the servo.write to tell the server what angle to move to. Here we're moving to 0 degrees. And then we can move to 180 degrees. If we then put a couple of loops around our servo.write commands, we can make the servo move back and forth. If we look closely at the servo turning, we can see though that it's not quite making 180 degrees. We can see this better if we change the arm out for a larger 3D printed one. Luckily, the servo library makes it easy to fix this. When we attach the servo to pin 7, we can also specify the start and end PWM timings for 0 and for 180 degrees. We can just adjust these by trial and error to find something that works. That looks about right. It's easy to drive multiple servos using the same setup. Just attach the orange wire from the second servo to another pin on the Arduino and use a second servo object. So, as you can see, driving servos with Arduino is really easy. I'm going to use what I've learned here to make a small robot arm, so please consider subscribing to see how that turns out.